that is not what I wanted. It's like some sort of bad dream. It's like some sort of the Flash movie. Oh no, not the Flash movie. Oh god. The movie's so bad. It's very stinky and poopy. I had a lot of fun watching it because it what was really bad. What is the point of the elevator then? <laughs> They're like, hey look, it's an elevator. You could go any... There wasn't a... That... Uh-huh. There wasn't... Go to floor four. Isn't that great? You're like, I don't want to push that button. <laughs> it it makes me legitimately question myself, which is a really great game mechanic. Yes! <laughs> this game is really good. I've had like seven of those moments so far. You're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wow, you're already done? Done? This your monster. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be like, that was the end. Like, I don't have a map for this place. I I thought like that was the end of the area. I like barely walked around. I remember the Silent Hill 2 LP, which was the first one we actually did. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I never finished my sentence. Um, I think that the remakes, since I, I think that Silent Hill 2 is going to be gangbusters. Right. Then they're going to go back to Silent Hill 1, then 3. Because it makes sense to do yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think that Origins is seeing the light of day ever again. Uh, yeah, uh, it depends. It, it depends. It's like Code Veronica where it's like, why would you remake that I one? I want Code Veronica remake really bad, though. Code Veronica remake would be great, but it would get I want Code Veronica canceled. to be like more canonical, and I want it to be like better. Yes. Why would it be canceled? Because tranny oh no it's crazy it's crazy tranny oh sure yeah i forgot about that yeah your great granddaughter had to be a cross dresser that's a lot more important to me specifically specifically hey, you remember when they showed the ashfords at the end of <laughs> welcome to raccoon city and it was really confusing and i didn't understand what they the showed you the cutscene where it's like oh my god these two bang don't they Hey, I tore the wings off this dragonfly. That's so hot. <laughs> and the girl's like, that's so hot. And it's like, this is weird. Getting laid at the family reunion. Oh, God. Ew. A the plate of, of turtle. The turtle. Yes. I love plate of turtle. It's my favorite. It's Master Ugwe. I know that's supposed to scare me, but... I, I just I am. You didn't numb. see what was off in the distance. No, I saw it. I just chose to ignore it. <laughs> I chose to run away like a little baby boy. See, this is how I would actually be in one of these situations. Just not, not real. <laughs> you, you walk out the door and you see like a human bent over, like standing there, just in the sight of your flashlight. And you're like, fucking nope, and you just go through another door. <laughs> I'm literally like. I'm just gonna find a way out. I'm not screwing with this. Like there's some people who are like, I'm gonna I'm gonna antagonize everything and I'm gonna fight it. And it's like I nope. don't I don't think that I would fight it. I think I'm just gonna go to keep my sanity in a situation like this, I'm gonna go, Yeah, it's not real and just in my own head kinda just file it under doesn't matter and keep my survival instincts firmly in check and stay on that fight or flight mode you want to make sure that you go to room three. yes i also would become a crazy hoarder blood pack a crazy crazy hoarder in one of these situations where it's like i found something that might be useful in a fringe situation i'm putting it in my bag and i'm running with it Though I don't, I don't think that I would work well in a situation like this alone. I think if I had like one or two other people with me, I would work a lot better because then I could be like, well, if I don't make it, one of them will. If I just am good enough about it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, 
just having other people would be enough to kind of like push me forward into it where if it's just me it's like do i really want to survive this because i'm just gonna be thinking about this for the rest of my life because oh my god you know mm -hmm. where it's kind of just like i i don't even know what to think after this Ow. Just just die already. Thank you. Okay. Now that the women have stopped talking, <laughs> I can leave. So you know Silent Hill enemies are always supposed to symbolize something. Yep. What do you think that symbolizes? I don't know enough about Harry to to kind of make that decision yet. Well, so far, what is this story about? He's he's looking for his child, right? Yeah. Um I think there's definitely a little bit of guilt here feeling like a a bad father maybe for losing his child. Um, I feel like there's definitely a thing where it's it's like it isn't so much a psychological thing as Silent Hill Two as is. As Silent Hill Two, but there is some stuff. Yeah. The things are not centered around Harry. They're they're more centered around the general theme of things. No, they are centered around a different character different character Cheryl no well no okay you already know the twist so I you know it's a... the twist Cheryl uh-huh Wh which twist are you referring to specifically when Cheryl is older what's her name Heather uh -huh. yeah so we we know that so what's the twist with Heather I'm assuming, sorry, it's probably two that it wants me to go in now. No, you haven't finished level three yet. Oh, I haven't finished level three? No. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I went everywhere, nope. so I was like... You uh, yeeted out of the whole left side. 302 has shotgun shells. You really want that. Yep, I do, I do want that. But you do have all of the... Uh, you have all of the key items for this level. So you're really just going to to search out that other side. Oh, I did. I did leave that other left side. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, because the woman was there. And you're like, nope. I'm like, nope, not And then you went and that. killed two others, and you're like, you know what? That's probably fine. I'm going to go through the living the linen room. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep now. Sleep so, now. So, cool. what is the twist with Heather? Uh, the twist is that... Heather is... It's been a really long time since I've thought about Silent Heather Hill. and Alessa are basically one in the same yes the, she was base. she was essentially split in half by silent hill correct as, as a child during the, the events of this game kind of did it herself they explain a little bit better in this so we'll see well uh, alessa kind of did it if that makes sense yes um i need to reload so These things are based on Alessa. They're not based on Harry. Yeah. So she didn't like dogs. The kids at school nope. didn't treat her very well, so she sees them as monsters. Mm -hmm. She didn't. She was. You know, the other. The nurses hurt her, so they. You know, they appear as monsters here, right? 
Yeah. And there's some there's some mild like pregnancy imagery and you know being controlled by something else possibly you know. Yeah, I'm I'm on orange. So. You gotta save her. I I'm gonna wait to get hit like one or two more times. Argo, Argo. To hit that first aid kit, I just don't want to waste it. Yeah, that. I get you. Well, I was a little yeah. too um. Hold on. Pocket radio. No, I don't have anything for that. Okay. I was just making sure. Because I haven't been taking very good note of all of the key items I've been picking up along the way. You have a blood pack, you have a cat plate, and you have a, a turtle, turtle plate. plate. Yep. There's a monster in here. Yeah, I hear it. Careful, she's fast. Okay. Cool. Gonna pop that first aid kit. Gonna reload. Yeah, I have no problems with ammo at all. Nope. Scarcity. Mice. These games are not survival horror in that way. Yeah. Resource management and stuff. Not really. And there's a third plate. Cool. Uh, turtle, cat, and... Nope. No. Screwed to the wall, you say. Screwed to the wall, you say. Mm, could I jimmy it with the... No. It's not nope. a use item, so I can't do that. It's probably a... Hold on. Let's kind of... So storage room, I've already been there. Storeroom is inaccessible. Linen room, elevator, doesn't make sense for it to be anywhere there. Uh, intensive care unit, nurse center, operating room, operating prep room, doesn't really make sense. Uh, doctor's office, conference room, office, storeroom, uh, examination room, office, reception, waiting room, medicine room, elevator... Morgue storeroom, generator room, boiler room. I'm going to say since the storeroom and morgue were closed, they are now open. I need to then grab the screwdriver from the storeroom and the plate puzzle will be in the morgue because that fits kind of like the theming that they're going for. No. No? I'm no. wrong? Am I wrong on both of those counts? Your next objective is floor one. I, I'm bad at calling stuff. I try and do that because it's super fun when it's like, wait, really? Actually? Yeah. You know? Because I've had a few good moments with that. We, we've called all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite recent ones is uh, watch it beat Darth Vader who comes through that door. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> and it's Darth Vader like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, really? I, I'm actually, it's getting to the point where I don't want to see Darth Vader anymore. Uh, honestly, yeah. Where it's like, like his, I I don't want them to hurt my boy. His story is already done, guys. Well, Give not it a only rest. is his story already done, but it's only done cheaply now. Yeah. Well, the the thing is, I would rather have a Infinity War style, where it's it's the hero story but backwards, if that makes sense. Sure. Where. Darth Vader is the protagonist, and we see him in his early days as Vader. Yeah, that'd be When funny. he's getting used to the suit, when he's getting well, used... Well, and they need to explain some shit. Yeah, they need to Like how no one knows that Darth Vader is a thing. Yeah. It's like, um, no. Obviously, people would. Yeah, it's... I'm not satisfied with the explanation very of... Very obvious. Well, they, they made it, it... It's a big secret. It's like, no. Everyone would know that there's a guy who's six six and in all black armor that comes with a lightsaber and murders people. That guy is freaking legend. Stuff of folklore. That guy is the guy you tell your kids about to get them to stop shitting in their underwears. <laughs> <laughs> or, or to start pooping in their pants. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Turtle, cat, and queen. What do you think the theme is? Um, Alice in Wonderland again. 
There you go. Cool. Because Cheshire Cat, Red Queen, and I'm sure there's a turtle somewhere. I'm not too familiar with Mock this. Turtle. The story. Yeah. That's... Mock Turtle isn't a turtle, obviously, because it's a Mock Turtle. But Mock yeah. Turtle. It fits the theme. Somebody in here as well? Come on. Come on now. Yep. Ooh. Gonna come and uh, try and kill me or what? Just gonna stand there? Yeah. Fridge is empty. Hey, uh. Ooh, I'll drink. Ooh, be candy. <laughs> Just going in a big circle now, huh? Nope, lost your chance. Sorry. <laughs> Snooze, you lose, Charlie. Here's something. Snooze, you lose. Did you child. know that uh, Link Neil of um, of famous comedy duo Rhett and Link, his name is actually not Link. Oh, I thought he just rolled into like pottery and stuff. His name Peter is Ludum. Guess. Guess what his first name is? Linkle. Nope. Linkletter. Nope. Nowhere near that. Uh, Bonhoeffer. Charles Lincoln Neal II. Nope. So his name is Charlie. Did you know? Rhett and Charles doesn't sound like. <laughs> Did you know that that Link is canonically Catholic? Yes, it's one of my favorite things. Read the manuals in your game, kids. And Wolverine is canonically Christian. Yes, and Daredevil is also canonically Christian. Well, yeah, but that's Catholic. like more widely known. He's you yeah. know big Catholic. Well, because that's part of his that's part of his shtick. That's part of his name. Mm -hmm. I find it really funny that Ghost Rider and Daredevil don't have swap names though. Because one is actually a daredevil. Go Ghost Rider is a little weird and... A Ghost Rider is... I think Ghost Rider is... Uh, I think Ghost Rider means that they're, that they're dead. Like on their bike. Or something. I don't... You know what? I'm going to look up... What do, you, what do you mean? I'm doing research. Hold on. Ghost Rider is that they're dead on their bike? What What do you mean? It's locked. Sound is heard from beyond the door. I think it's slang. Oh, oh, I get that. I'm just saying that it's funny that an actual Daredevil is not the superhero called Daredevil. And it is instead a blind Catholic man. Ghost Rider is a is a is a is a sex act. Fun. Shut up. You suck. You're the worst. So I went to floor one. I need a key to get into the medicine, to get into the examination room. I didn't try that small door by the entrance. But why would that be there though, if not to block off? That entire oh, okay. You ready? What? Ghost Rider is a European motor. It's it's from European slang for a uh, rider that makes a living from performing dangerous high speed uh, stunts on his bike. Okay, yeah. So so it is. It's a. It is Daredevil. Well, it is what Johnny Blaze does. Johnny Blaze was a Ghost Rider before. 
Yes. By European slang. So that, yeah, I was right. There was a thing. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The Grim Reaper's list. 35, Lydia Findley. 60, Trevor F. White. 18, Albert Lords. 45, Roberta, Roberta T. Morgan. 38, Edward C. Briggs. Grim Reaper's list. Okay. Very cool. Thanks for right. dying. Lighter. A lighter. Yes, please. Anybody got a cigarette? Lock is jam, can't be open. Lock is jam, can't be open. That one's open. There's a monster in this room as well. Here's one that's wait funny. Wait for him to show himself. What? So. Oh. You remember RuneScape? Hi. Yeah. There is a. Uh, there is a. Yeah, don't get closer. I'm assuming I need something else for that. Uh, there, there is a. A meme slang thing. From RuneScape. Zikadelic. Huh? Zikadelic. It was somebody's account name, and apparently he was known for doing crazy stuff. So when someone said, uh, someone sees something unbelievable, they're like, wow, that's only something that Zikadelic could have done. Fun. It's like, that's weird. Clouds flowing over hill. So Guy on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter, lucky, four leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from the slash wrist. Okay. Colors. White. Dude. I'm not looking at the guide. Shut the. F <laughs> I'm not looking at the guide. I'm playing the game. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, that would that would make sense. White, blue. Orange, green, green, violet, Purple. yellow, yellow, black, black, red. Oh, colors. Yeah, you're totally right. Four square indentations on the door. Oh, easy. You don't like your plates. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, red is the last one, right? Red's the last one after black. Okay, but how are we? How are we doing this? Well, white starts it. Clouds. Blue sky. No, it goes backwards. No, no, because black is already set. So black is on west. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless that's supposed to be purple. It's no, not. That's not. That is red. Okay. Awesome. That would be yellow. Uh dandelions, dandelions along the path. Along the path. And then Yeah. Okay. Got it. So blue goes afterwards. One more. And then I need to go get that other plate that's lucky for Leaf Clover. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, nurse Center. 
So room 204 is where I found the other one. Hold on. I'm is thinking. that where the tentacle monster is? Yeah. Tentacle monster, tentacle monster, tentacle monster, tentacle monster. How would I deal? Let me check the map again. Okay, so that's locked. So I'm pretty sure that floor one is one and done. You right have now. all you need for the solution. I have it right now. You have all you need for the solution. Okay, thank you. Blood. So the blood definitely plays into it because it's the only one that's not. Well, in, in order to blood. grab the plate, all you need to do is distract it for a little bit. And oil. What if he's hungry? Yeah. It makes sense, but at the same time, I don't want that to be the solution. Oh, look. Right over there. Look at him. He's so hungry. Poor guy. Here, buddy. Have some blood for a minute. Oh, it's so yummy. So yummy wummy. Go get the plate. Go get the plate. Go get the plate quickly. Plate of Hatter. Yeah. That would have totally given it away to me if the other stuff had not. So I'm glad I got that one last to kind of go, what's the theme? And then I figure out what the theme is, and then I'm like, oh, I'm actually smart and not just... Uh, Observant. I'm a simple man. I see Mad Hatter and... I go, oh, No it's... other famous hatters. Nobody else makes hats. Only the Mad Hatter. Yeah, no one else makes hats ever. Johnny Depp's most embarrassing role, and that includes a court case. Yeah. Well, that wasn't embarrassing for him. It was no, that's what I'm embarrassing saying. for his uh, bed-shitting ex. <laughs> well, you know. You she really probably poop. Equip the gun. She really... Hey, you should probably equip that gun. She really pooped the bed on that one, huh? Oh, yeah. My dog stepped on a bee. We went to the vet. Shut up. You're not real. Shut up, crime. I literally have over 100 bullets. Don't screw with me. Nice. I uh, kick it. Literally just kick it. Okay. Okay. This is toward not the door, so I'm going to go here first. Careful, I think you can fall off. Oh, crap. This is not good. You know what? I know, bosses... <gasps> No, but I fine. need to get out of the way. Oh my god, you're the worst. Shut up. Let me across. Shut up, crime. Do you know where that comes from? Oh my god. No, I don't. It actually. comes from a James Gunn movie. Called Super. Oh, I haven't seen Super. I've just heard shut up crime and went, that's actually kind of funny. Rain Wilson plays Sir. a superhero. And and Ellen Page is in it as his Robin. That's right, Ellen Page. Ellen Page. Speaking of, all the David Cage games are currently... I don't want to date it that hard, but they're, they're currently way discounted on steam and i was like oh yeah i might, I might and then i'm like them. no why not i don't think we're gonna play under the waves it, it doesn't look like a david cage game dude i don't think we're gonna get one i i think david cage star wars is eclipse. just done star wars eclipse star wars eclipse isn't coming till 2027 and it got indefinitely pushed back when it was already set to come out 
four years from now. It's it's gonna be Cyberpunk 2077 where everyone's waiting for it forever oh. and it was not worth it. But it looked weird. But though, I will say, Cyberpunk has definitely improved. Thank you.